She looks like the coolest person ever. Like, I love her outfit. Hi guys, welcome back to Funky Cool Threads. If you guys are new here, my name is Luisa, and I am so excited for today's video. It's gonna be very different from my usual thrift with me's, but it's gonna be a Sunday video. So, I wanna show you guys my inspo for this spring summer vibe. I wouldn't really wanna call it spring, just because, girl, I live in the Central Valley. We skip spring and we just go straight to summer. The minute it starts getting hot, like from cold to spring, it just starts getting hot. Like I'm talking 110 degrees hot. Like it gets so hot in the Central Valley and it's not fun. So that's why we're gonna do just a summer 2023 Pinterest board vibe video. I am logging onto my Pinterest right now and we're gonna just wait a little bit. Take your time, Wi-Fi! I'm gonna be using my laptop and then you guys will be right here on the screen seeing what I'm seeing, basically. And girl, I've been pinning like crazy. So, my style is very versatile. Like, I don't like to just be one aesthetic. I don't believe in following trends or anything like that. I feel like I dress based on how I feel today or like on the day so if I'm feeling sad I'm gonna wear black I'm gonna wear something that describes my sadness but like I still want to look cool you know what I mean like today my vibe was like I want to be dark and mysterious that's why I'm wearing the beret you know and like artistic so like the floral with the corset you know it's kind of a vibe and then the little smile now cry later earrings like girl so that was my vibe for today. So I basically dress how I feel. I have a board called Threads. So we're gonna go from threads to snazzy shoes, that's what I call it, and accessories. And I think that's the only thing I have. And shoes I think is like equivalent to also like accessories because I include like socks and stuff in there. So first we're gonna go into threads. Oh my God, this first piece, I saw this today. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you guys can see. But this freaking colorful skirt with hearts on it, with the top, I feel like it's so versatile to wear during spring, summer, and fall because of the hearts and like the way they're kind of like a muted kind of colorful. I feel like you can easily pair that with a brown turtleneck and a brown leather jacket, some brown booties. Like I love everything about this skirt and the colors because they're vibrant but still very like muted. Uh, along with the top too, oh my god, it's giving definitely more like western vibes, which I'm all for. And I love that she added the twist with the like star earrings. So this is definitely something that I'm like leaning towards more spring and summer is clothing that I can wear all year long. So I wear my, my clothing like I mentioned all year long. I don't specifically shop for spring and shop for summer. I shop for all year long wear. Like this one specifically, I absolutely love because it's a piece that you can wear in spring and summer because I love, first of all, you can never go wrong with brown trousers. They're freaking amazing. And I love that she styled this with a dress and it's open because it just shows the versatility that you could use with all your clothing. You don't need to have a lot of clothes. You just have to know how to wear it in different ways and different styles and different varieties, I guess you could say. Um, even with what she's wearing, I feel like she could easily even add like a cinched um, corset over and let kind of like the, the bottom of the dress flow out and the sleeves kind of accentuate a little bit more and it would tighten this part up a little bit more like her waist. I feel like even that would look so pretty with this, but I absolutely love that piece. Next one, I feel like I'm very leaning towards more um, ruffles, lace, and sheer, like a lot of more like frilly type of pieces as you can tell like the shirt that I'm wearing now has like this like lettuce like um lettuce edge what's it called color uh what would I call it scoop neck type vibe along with the sleeve it's giving like a little like lettuce little ruffle vibe and I kind of like that it's like frilly you know so I feel like I'm definitely leaning more towards those type of vibes definitely also like sheer Oh, this specific dress, guys. Oh, I have a 1950s sheer dress that I've had for like over two years and I've never known how to style it. And when I saw this picture, I was like, yes, I need to find either some type of jumpsuit 
or even like a really cool pant to wear underneath because the dress that I have is a light baby pink and I'll maybe post a little picture of it right here so you guys can get an idea of what it is and if you guys have any ideas of how I can style this please let me know down below I would love to hear your guys' thoughts or inspiration on any type of pieces that you think would look great with anything that I'm talking about but this one specifically I really liked I'm not too crazy for like the little nipple like thing that it has but it looks really good on her I love her shoes especially girl those are so cute and the jumpsuit underneath it just looks so good I mean I guess I could wear like a basic black jumpsuit but I love how her has hers has like a little like moon type of pattern I think that's really cute um another one is oh like I mentioned lace Oh my god, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, let me go back to it. Oops, I think I went down a little too far. This right here, the ruffles. Oh my gosh. The ruffles and the pink. And this like tie top that she has in the front is really cute. Oh my, is she wearing, is she wearing pink tights or am I tripping out? Another thing that I've been really interested in doing is mixing my patterns, which I've slowly been transitioning to styling a little bit more because I have a lot of funky printed pants and I have a lot of funky printed blouses, so I feel like I never know how to style them the proper way. I recently did style this like colorful skirt, which I'll post right here, with like a a men's button up and it's also striped but there's they're both stripes and they're both different colors but I it was just like a baby step you know what I mean and I feel like when I saw this freaking oh my god this quilted dress so when I saw this quilted dress with the tribal like big balloon sleeves with connected to the t-shirt I was like holy shit this is a sick ass fit and it looks so well even though the colors are very different and the patterns are very different like it looks really good together because I think the dress itself is just so funky and the blouse like I don't know something about this I absolutely love and I want to get into styling more pieces like this because oh my god I think it's so gorgeous and I love that dress so moving forward Basically the type of pieces that I want to be thrifting for and I want to keep a lookout for on the next couple videos that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is definitely more sheer, frilly, cutesy, like lace and little details like the lettuce um, edges, puff sleeves, like I said, sheerness, lace, layering, oh my god, the layering guys, oh my god, the ruffles. That's the kind of stuff that I want in my closet. I want statement pieces. And I'm really liking the maximalist vibe. Like this specific picture right here. Oh my god, I love her collar, the lace, the ruffle, the sheer. And then we have like this like tapestry quilted blanket like dress with all like the fringe kind of like raw hem like everywhere guys this is exactly what i want to be looking for you guys know i'm obsessed with tapestry so to find maybe a piece like this or even try making one that would be kind of neat but my sewing skills on a sewing machine are not the best let's be honest but i absolutely love this one i think it's so freaking everything about it and i love that she added that big lace freaking collar it's so freaking amazing i don't know if it's attached to the dress or she put it on over but oh my god she looks beautiful i love that i just feel like if i were to dress like this it's not ideal for me for everyday wear because i do hair for a living so i can't really like fully express myself when i'm doing Hair because I don't want to get my clothes ruined for one and two I'm just gonna be standing there for 12 hours looking like this and who knows maybe it's and sometimes styling pieces like this isn't the most comfortable like I know because I wear platforms to work and it's not ideal because I stand for 12 hours and then I complain about back pain and my yoga instructor tells me, well, maybe you shouldn't be wearing platforms for 12 hours, but guess what? I don't care because I feel like I look cute and it's worth it. It's worth it to sacrifice. 
But along with the maximalist type of vibe, I am also a minimalist. So I like to like very like wear like cutesy. I don't know. I don't want to call myself a minimalist because I feel like this outfit right here, the black blazer with the pink tights, the pink shoes, the pink braid is very like boom out there but it's also very subtle and like unique but still very like how would i explain it it's very still like wearable like i feel like i could wear this to work and i already wear platforms so i just already need just funky tights so definitely funky tights is something that i want to add into my wardrobe especially for the spring summer i don't even know if i'd actually wear them to be completely honest with you guys because like i mentioned it gets extremely hot where I live, like a little too hot. So, but I really do like this outfit because it's so simple, but it still stands out and it's still very pretty. Like, uh, the tights are so cute and I love her beret. It's really cute. I think my only thing is like with berets and hats, I can't just wear like a basic beret as you can tell. Like I have to add something to it. So I feel like, oh my God, I just got the cutest idea yeah <sighs> wouldn't this pink beret look so cute if she had like a freaking lace trimming on her beret <gasps> that would look so cute i should do that oh my god yes i need to do that i need to write that down before i forget i'm just gonna put up all the pictures on the screen that i've been like obsessing over like this green freaking skirt with the tiered detailing and all the freaking lace, I am freaking obsessed. Tieredness, the sheerness, the everythingness, literally the yellow skirt with the sheer and then the freaking yellow at the bottom. Freaking gorgeous. This pink one, or this orange skirt, I love how she styled this because it looks so preppy up top. But I love that she did this orange skirt and either, I don't know if she added another layer of a sheer like tulle skirt at the bottom, but I love that it's like a lighter orange and it stands out. It looks so freaking cute. And then these pink layered pants, so adorable. I have something similar to these, not like exactly, but I have like a pair of pants, they're by Anthropology that I recently took out of my closet and they're actually on sale on my Depop, but they're, I'll post a picture of them right here, but they're way too big on me and I would love to keep them, but guys, they're just gonna be hoarding in my closet, but I would love to keep those because that's exactly kind of what I'm looking for for this spring and summer. Along with these orange pants, I love that they're kind of like a fancy type of vibe, but I love that she like paired it with like a basic t-shirt with like a long sleeve underneath it definitely dresses the pants down but the pants are still like the main focus of her outfit which i'm absolutely obsessed with i don't know if we're talking too much about clothes and we haven't moved on to like accessories but basically you guys get an idea a little gist of what i'm like looking for for the next couple of thrift trips is just like frilly lace like i mentioned tiered details um I want to show you guys one more picture that I've been like uh, obsessing with. Maybe two actually because there's two that I see that I'm like, oh, I forgot about those. Okay, let's talk about this right here. I absolutely love this piece. And I think with the right color combination, if I were to like make this myself or even like, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the only way I could have a piece like this is if I made it. I feel like if I added the right color palette onto this dress, I could wear it all year long and it's so freaking beautiful. I love that it's so funky and she paired it with a pair of just like Adidas. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that her hoodie has ruffles, like the tiered ruffle details also like by the cuffs. I absolutely love that. And the front, I like how it's more of like a sweater like knit construction. Very cute with the straps, how one's like all fraying ones like very simple i absolutely love this piece this is like this is exactly what i like i want to be finding and the best part about pieces like this or unique pieces in general is that 99.9 percent .9 of the time you will find them at the thrift store and not at some like random like fast fashion company i mean you probably can but eh, it's not the same quality girl 
and then this one right here this picture literally lives rent free in my head because I think about this jacket all day long it is so fun I absolutely love the big flowers the obviously like the rainbow kind of swivel kind of vibe with all the different colors I love that she paired it with these plaid trousers and just like a black turtleneck black boot so freaking cute I absolutely love this and I think I pinned this um, picture like at least three times onto my Pinterest but ah, I love it because that jacket is so versatile you can wear it with so many different colors like I love it so much Ugh. don't even get me started on knit or monochromatic outfits don't get me started on knits don't get me started on knit construction ah there's so much to talk about and I don't want to be blabbing forever but do you guys just like see my vision of like what I'm going for and of course you can never go wrong like I said with a classic trouser and a cute baby tee girl but I feel like when it comes to I feel like when it comes to just like okay I don't want to be so extra today like you know because sometimes I'm like okay I just want to put on a t-shirt and jeans and that's fine like I love wearing a t-shirt and jeans when I'm going to the grocery store running errands whatever but that's where like accessories come in so now we're gonna be moving on to accessories and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I'm going to be adding to my wardrobe this year so we're gonna go into like snazzy shawls <laughs> snazzy shoes and don't mind the names on my Pinterest boards guys I've literally had Pinterest since I was in high school so do not mind it so if I'm basically gonna wear a basic jean and a t-shirt vibe you know I gotta pair it with a fun shoe so that's where fun shoes come along with cool socks I think any type of funky sock is gonna make your outfit a little bit more elevated I like this brown loafer I can tell like the person is wearing jeans very cute very simple but you see how she paired it with like a cute like striped sock I love that I think that's so freaking cute not go wrong with cowboy boots things like that um, oh my god girl I'll be pinning some cute ass shoes these new balances I still want those oh my god the 90s vintage oh, I can't I can't oh my god and colorful tights I'm gonna go into my um, accessories pin which mainly is all like earrings a good earring a good hat a hair scarf a ribbon a brooch I think you guys already know that I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to uh, hair scarves I like to pretend that I actually sell them but I never do I just end up keeping all of them to be completely honest with you guys so I think I'm gonna put my a good use into my hair scarves this year because that's gonna be the end of today's video I know there was a lot of talking in today's video but I honestly had so much fun showing you guys my Pinterest and kind of like my inspiration of like pieces that I'm going to be searching for on the next couple of thrift with me's. I am so excited to bring you guys along on the next thrift with me because we're going to be looking for these exact pieces or not exact pieces but you know we're going to be finding we're going to be out thrifting for similar pieces like this and it just makes me so much more excited for my thrift trip. This is something that I do religiously so if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know because I absolutely love like just hanging out just talking to you guys it feels like I'm talking to a friend and like having coffee or just like talking to you guys just about clothing like I'm having a real conversation with someone and just showing you guys my ideas and like the things that have been inspiring me lately as in colors and style um, certain people like I absolutely love that so if you guys enjoy something like this I can definitely try making videos like this every time like before I go on a thrift trip which obviously this is what I'm gonna be looking for on the next thrift trip like I mentioned so let me know what you guys think down below are you guys are, are you guys as excited as I am because now I cannot wait to go thrifting and try finding similar pieces like this but as always thank you guys so much for hanging out with me talking to me and just being cool I love you guys so I don't know thank you so much for being here I appreciate you guys so much um 
I will see you guys on Wednesday with a thrift with me and wish me luck guys hopefully I find these pieces or similar pieces and you guys will find out on Wednesday's video so I'll see you guys then bye guys have a happy week